starting in 5 seconds sir i was mentioning yesterday that the great expectations with which the budget had been presented have been belied so soon that one need not go into the question how far even the ruling party members would be able to claim justification for the statement that prices have been checked my friend yesterday was talking here about the period of instability and discipline which had passed just before the present government took over in discipline instability in fighting we are aware of these facts to the extent they plagued our party when we were in power but sir i am afraid my friend had not seen the morning papers of yesterday otherwise he would have been aware of the exhibition of unity that was being given by his party men at various places in chandigarh itself there was a report of a regular fight having taken place between the members of his party between supporters of the chief ministers of haryana and the former defense minister and they used fisticuffs and sticks even stones were with the members of his party which the ruling party is claiming or maybe it was part of the new economic program which they are always talking about sir about stability we have a picture of stability in the various states and i do not want to ask my friend if he had spoken to the chief minister of andhra pradesh or maharashtra or haryana or any other state to find out how far he was happy with the situation he was posed to be presiding over it is for anyone to see that for more than several months the administration in andhra pradesh is at a standstill we do not know how many ministers are in the dissidents group and how many with the chief minister this thing goes on right from the start honorable member has been facing difficult weather in maharashtra although there have been explanations to prove and establish that there is not trouble but people know more than to believe in this with all this the party deserves our good wishes and the finance minister our best hope in the difficult task that he has set himself to it is not only a question of giving him lip sympathy or being apologetic for any word of criticism that our friends from that side may make it is a difficult situation which has to be better managed we were told that coal management has been improved during the last several weeks only yesterday there were reports that the south central railway has cancelled 21 trains because of shortage of coal there are reports of mismanagement in the food corporation of india there was a report in the times of india that rupees 10 lakhs appears to have been lost because of dal having been purchased at exorbitant price in madhya pradesh all these are going on honorable member said that 
if the present government and party cannot deliver the goods no other government and party can deliver and therefore he lent all his support to the finance bill there have been talk of a lot of problems being prevalent in the country after a period of 50 years i only want to remind him that many of the problems that plague you us today have their roots in the past i was going through a magazine published by indian oil which carried an article on energy crisis it is said that there that this crisis has developed over a number of years and the reference it gives was that when the development process began to decelerate in the mid 60s development of energy sector was neglected far more than all other sectors starvation of adequate investment was not the only thing but this was the worst part of it the pattern of development of energy resources and their utilization have suffered grave distortions because according to that article there was a switch to refinance on growing import of oil in disregard of all expert advice and caution and this led to the neglect of hydro sources in call to investment and production were allowed to stagnate for nearly two decades even after 1973 oil crisis it is observed that attempts to regulate consumption and import of oil and emphasizes on indigenous alternative sources were given up there was a decision to step up extraction of oil from discovered sources in disregard of technical experts and planning commission which favored conserving our modest resources for future these things started when the present prime minister was in power and the result is what we face today in the form of energy crisis the blame for this crisis cannot be placed totally on the opec and oil exporting countries why i mention this is only to illustrate that mere goody goody talk or trying to be flatterers of the leader who happened to be shouldering the main responsibility of running the country is not the best way of solving our problems this will not be in any way solve our basic problems stop